Before the island, I was asking David to be more open with me. I trusted David and allowed him to bring me on this journey. You know that I don't want to leave this place without you. That's not my plan, that's not my goal. <laughs> Hi there. I'm not scared of any little competition, and I will win your heart. Thank you. Touch my boyfriend, I will kill you. Why the f are we doing this? I saw the girls, and a lot of them are your tight. This is like the problem in our relationship. Like, you have to trust me. David said that we came here so that he could prove himself to me, and then his actions didn't follow up. And even though I saw David disrespecting our relationship, I still wanted to carry myself in a certain way. I should have known better because you're dangerous. Hi, David. Hi, Mark. Welcome back to Bonfire. Let's go. I feel like I know more than ever exactly what it is that I want. I know my worth, and I know what I deserve. And you've helped me to see what I don't deserve. You said when we came to this island, I want to show you that you can trust me. And you showed me the exact opposite. I had to come here every bonfire and see that the person I came here to fight for, that you weren't holding up your end of the bargain. The things that you did week after week that I had to sit and watch is not somebody committed to a relationship. I think you selfishly and cowardly brought me here for your own gains. Instead of just saying to me, this isn't working for me in my life. You don't understand the pain that I had to go through. As I watch you with multiple people, I'm the type of girl that should never, ever, ever have to see that. Let me just clear the air. I don't know what you saw or what you didn't see at the bonfire, but I'll just be completely honest and own exactly anything and everything that I've done here. Um, at the beginning, I received lap dances from girls. I don't know if you saw that. Um, you know, we had a party that we called the blackout party. Everyone, including myself, we got extremely intoxicated. And I took a shower with this girl, Samantha. And after the shower, this other girl, Peyton, came into my room and we started making out in my bed. And my relationship with Peyton was strictly on a friend level. Am I allowed to cut you off? You guys can talk. This I mean, is, yes. you're, you're digging yourself a hole right now. I'm not and, trying to dig a hole. I I'm mean, trying to do Peyton, a what? And this one, and then now you have feelings and you're falling in love with Tanita. Like, so I'm, so I'm so trying to clear the air. Some girl sees you in that behavior and yes. then falls for you. So That's let me just really clear the sad. air. I'm, I'm trying to clear the air and be open and honest with you of what happened, because I don't know what you saw or didn't see. I kissed Mel. I mean, just like, like, you don't have to tell all of America that you just hoard yourself out. Like, you really don't.